We're now going to draw a break-even chart. Here is some break-even information for a business. You can see that they're thinking about selling at no sales, 100 sales, 200 sales, 300 and 400. Um, first of all, this business have worked out their fixed costs of £4,000. No matter how many they make, it will be £4,000. It doesn't change. They have a variable cost, which is £10 per unit. So if they sell none, they don't pay any variable costs. If they sell 100, they'll pay 1,000, 200 times 10 is 2,000, etc., etc. And we just add those up to reach our total cost of £4,000 if they make none, £5,000 if they make 100, 200, they have £6,000, etc. So we've worked out how much it costs them at each level of production. We're now going to see how much money they are going to earn. So their sales revenue is how much they get from selling it. And if they sell none, they will get nothing. If they're selling at £30 an item, if they sell 100 items, they'll get £3,000. 200 items, £6,000. 300 items, £9,000. And 400 items, £12,000. So we are now going to use this information to draw a break-even chart. This is a really common exam question and one that sometimes can be a bit confusing. So you'll often be given a blank break-even chart like this, and it is your job to use the information below to fill it in. On the x-axis, you can see its number of sales, and on the y-axis, its pounds. So the first line that we are going to put on is our fixed cost line. If we go down to zero for the number of sales, and then we go up to 4,000 pounds, money you can see at zero it will be four thousand pounds at 100 it will be four thousand pounds so the fixed cost line will always be horizontal so you can see that line is here and i've labeled it fixed cost it's because no matter how much we sell the cost stays the same now you don't put the variable cost line on a break even chart. So if they've given this information to you, it could confuse you a little. The next line is the total cost. So you need to remember fixed costs and total cost. Now, total cost always starts where the fixed cost cuts the y axis because if they make none, the total cost will only be the fixed cost at £4,000. And then you can see that at 100, it will be £5,000. So this one's not so easy because it hasn't got £5,000 on the scale. So if I go to 200, it's 6,000. So 200 and 6,000. This is always a straight line. So if you join up these two points with a ruler, you will get a lovely straight line like this one. And I've labelled it up the total cost. So the third line that we put on is our sales revenue line. And if you sell nothing, you get nothing. So it will always start here. And again, I'm going to look, if I sell 400, I get 12,000. So if I go 400, I'll put my point there and I will simply just join up those two lines like this. And I have my sales revenue line on. One other way that they will do this in an exam is give you these three lines and you must be able to label them up revenue, total cost and fixed cost. So the things to remember are fixed cost is always horizontal. The total cost starts where the fixed cost cuts the y axis and revenue always starts at zero, zero. So looking at a bigger version of the, the um, graph we've just drawn, you may well get asked to label up a break-even chart. And the first thing we're going to do is find out where the break-even point is. Now, it is where total cost equals sales revenue. So where the two lines cross is where break-even is. So we can see if they sold 200 items, the total cost would be 6,000 pounds, the total revenue would be 6,000 pounds, they would break even at this point. They would make no profit or no loss. They can also ask us to identify the area of loss and profit. So if we look back logically, if the total cost is above 
the total revenue, we are spending more than we are receiving. And this area here is the area of loss. So it is the difference between the yellow line here and the green line here. So if they sell nothing, they'll be losing £4,000. Conversely, if the revenue is higher than the total cost, which is here, we can call this area the area of profit. So if they sell 400 items, their revenue is £12,000. Their total cost is £8,000. We would predict that they would make £4,000 profit. So when you're drawing a chart, you can be asked to put the lines on. You can be asked to label the lines. You will need probably to identify break even point and be happy to identify loss and profit. This is something that you need to think through and practice in order to get it right.